Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's been a while. I've been talking about the news. But yeah, literally, I've been busy with other stuff and shit. So, here I am back to it. So, we got breaking news though. The suspect in Temakula Casino killing said to be sister of Kawhi Leonard's Los Angeles Clippers sister. Uh, sister of Los Angeles Clippers. I don't know why I said those extra words, but um. Yeah, this is pretty shocking though. Um, Keisha Williams is actually the family member of Kawhi Leonard, and to me, I think this is the stepsister of Kawhi Leonard. And the girl on our left side, that's probably her friend right there, which is Candace Tonsil. So, yeah, they just got arrested today, and both of them are charged of accused of killing an 84 years old woman at the casino place. And usually, we talked about how gambling is like another level. Like when people get addicted to gambling, and when they don't have enough money, sometimes they'll do horrible stuff, such as you know, um sell something, rob people, or try to steal, you know, just to gamble, and this is really sad right here, that an 84 years old woman who was carrying 800, 1200 grand, I mean, not 1200 grand, but $1,200, walked into the bathroom, that's where she got beat up, her skull got crushed, she was killed over there, in the public bathroom where those two literally just beat up an old lady for money and shit, you know, and to me, like, my prayer sent out to those family who support this grandmother, like, I really feel bad for their grandmother's grandson, grandkids, son, and brothers, and everything, y'all, like, she doesn't really deserve, like, I understand she's 84 years old, she's really old, she's coming towards the end, but still, you don't do that to an old lady who's carrying a lot of money, you know, because she just wants to enjoy her time at the casino, but then all of a sudden, just because she was carrying big money with her, her life got taken away by these two women, which I don't know why they want to commit a crime to an 84 years old woman, but it's really sad. And many people are asking to this question that does this have something to do with Kawhi Leonard? Because Kawhi Leonard is a brother to Keisha Williams or Kamisha, whatever her name is. I'm sorry I pronounced it wrong, but to me, dude, I think Kawhi is a really good person. He's a Kawhi guy. I don't really think this case has nothing to do with Kawhi because I heard rumors saying that. Kamisha Williams is actually a stepsister of Kawhi, and they both had different family. They're both really not really in a good relationship. They don't really talk to each other. They don't see each other that much. But to me, dude, I don't really think Kawhi Leonard has nothing to do with his stepsister committing crime. But it's going to look bad on Kawhi because that's his family member still. And people are going to ask Kawhi, I bet you, many, many questions that, you know, your sister did this crime. Why she did this because of you or she wants to give you more money and shit, you know, but... Anyway, so we're going to read the story today that these two ladies got captured tonight, so Los Angeles CNS, one of the suspects accused of killing an 84 years old woman at the Pichanga Resort Casino in Temecula. It's said to be the sister of new silently Los Angeles Clippers star for Kawhi Leonard. It was reported Saturday. On August 31, oh shit, that was like a month ago. Well, I mean, that's not too long ago, but... Commissioner Monty Williams, 35 years old, and Candace Ty Townsend, they're not allegedly follow... Off of Anis Assad of Long Beach into a bathroom where their duo attacked and robbed her, according to the Riverside Country Sheriff Department. An aunt of Williams told the Riverside Press Enterprise that Williams and Lairns are siblings, so. See, that's gonna look bad and quiet, though. Not saying it's quiet, but. John Hall spokesman for the Riverside Country District Attorney Office would not confirm their relationship to the newspaper. Assad was found unconscious on the bathroom floor, later died of her injuries at Inland. Valley Medical Center and Will DeMar. Oh, that's pretty sad, you know. Sheriff official said Williams and Tonso stole Austin's Perch, which contained 800, 1200 inside. She didn't even get a chance to play, Austin's son in law told CB2. I mean, she had some money in her wallet because she was ready to play that day, and I don't know if they targeted her because she just walked through the door and they knew she had money in her wallet. Steve Brock said detectives obeying leads pointing to Williams and Townsville as a legit SLAs and both were taken to custody. Williams and Paris and Townsville and Hammond. Hmm? Huh? No, why? 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 No, Williams being held without bail at the Indio jail and Townsville's being held on one million bail at the Smith Correction. Felicity and Benning attempt to reach Leonard and the Clippers for a comment were not mentally successful. Leonard attended Canyon Spring High School in the Moreno Valley before graduating from Martin Luther High School in Riverside. He was an All-American college player at San Diego State in the first round National Basketball Association pick in 2011. The two-time most valuable player of the NBA Finals was considered to be the top free agent. This offseason before signing in July, 
a three-year, $103 million contract with the Clippers. You see, my prayer sent out to this, you know, um, old lady that lost her life just because she wanted to have fun in a casino. But then all of a sudden, that didn't happen because two ladies, they had to kill her for no reason, you know. My prayer sent out to this grandson, family members, because of this incident, you know, and... Whether if she's old or not, though, I think both of them, they deserve life, in my opinion, though. Because when you take someone else's you know, life, whether she's an old lady, a disabled person, or someone else you don't like, that doesn't mean you got to kill them, you know. And it's really shocking that why would Kawhi Leonard's sister want to do this type of crime? Like, why would she want more money from this granny, you know what I mean? If she knew her brother is a professional athlete and professional basketball player, why can't she contact Kawhi instead, you know, and get help from Kawhi? But what she did wrong is that... She didn't call Kwai. She didn't get a fucking job. It looks like to me she's probably broke and she wanted to commit this crime because she thinks she can get away with it just because of the old lady. But like I told you folks, like there is something wrong with Kwai and her sister. If she didn't ask for her parents' support but chose to do the unthinkable, that just shows you, in my opinion, I think Kwai Leonard and her sister are probably really not that close. But it's going to give like Kwai some suspicious timing that why would Kawhi Leonard's sister do this if Kawhi Leonard's sister is related to Kawhi, you know, and I don't know, dude, I don't know what's the sentence, I don't know what's the punishment for these two, but I heard that they're still in custody, they're still talking about it, I heard someone saying that they're in life, 30 years, 40 years, no bell or something, but yeah, rest in peace to this old ass lady, dude, she doesn't really need to lose this life, she doesn't deserve it, like, she just wanna have fun with her hard work and money, but then all of a sudden that didn't happen because two women had to do this for no reason, you know.